Hey Digi fans and welcome back to Digitom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now you might be thinking, hey, pay attention, what's going on? Well, I'm just getting some inspiration because today I'm going to teach you how to make a magazine cover using Adobe Spark Post. Now, as always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, download the Spark apps individually, Spark page, post, and video. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. Now, when you make your magazine cover, it can be on anything you like. It could be on you. It could be on your favorite sports. It could be on history, travel, something you've been studying, anything you like. So let's go over to the tutorial where I teach you how to make a magazine cover, a little bit like this, using Adobe Spark Post. <laughs> so to create your magazine, you can go here and press plus, and you could go to view all, for example, and have a look through some of these um, things here. Like for print, you've got poster, for example, that might be a good size for the start of a magazine, or for the front of a magazine. But actually, if I can just put magazine cover, like I've already searched in here, you get all sorts of different options. Look at them all here. There's a skate one here, there's an explorers one here, there's a fashion one, a food one, a wildlife one, all sorts of different things that you can remix and do whatever you like. So I'm going to choose this one because I think it's pretty cool. And then I'm going to edit this template and it'll pop up here and everything you see on there, you can edit. So I could double click this text, edit that if I want. Uh, I can edit the photos. I can do all sorts of things. Now, what I will show you on here is if I go to layout, we're actually in a two square layout like this one here, okay? And, that, and I, that's one of the reasons why I chose this template. I wanted to show you something cool we can do with that. But you can switch it up to, you know, a one, a one layout if you want. That's absolutely fine. It doesn't really matter. A sort of one photo layout. And I'll show you how to do that later as well. So let's get started. Now, on my, for my magazine cover, I've already done some of the work. Look at all of this. I've done it already. The title of my magazine is going to be Hoop. So... Uh, because my magazine is going to be all about basketball. I'm getting back into my basketball after a bit of time away. And I like hoop as a name, like a basketball hoop. Now, this uh, music section here, I'm just going to delete it. I can press this one here and just delete it, get rid of it. Nice. Uh, I can also change the font here as well, Ooh, not just by having it selected. And then go to, I might try this one, Pacific or regular. Nice. I like it. Now, one of the things I can do to resize it is just like pull at the ends here. Uh, and I can do that and I'll do it on this side as well. That looks pretty nice. Happy with that. Just use my arrow keys just to bring it down ever so slightly. Yeah, nice. Um, I can also use my sort of hand tool here, probably pressing, and you can see that different sort of little lines turn up to tell me if it's going to be centered or not. So I think around about there it seems to be centered. Nice. Now, uh, down the side here, we've got uh, Melvin Braun, whoever Melvin is. But I've actually decided that um, I'm going to have a main interview and it's going to be Michael Jordan. Hopefully, you know who Michael Jordan is. If you don't, where have you been? So I'm going to copy all of that. I'll paste it in there. Uh, I'm going to have an interview with Michael Jordan. Now, you'll see that there's two things here. One, the text font is different. So I'm going to actually change that to the same as the title. There we go. And that's actually brought the size down quite a bit, which I like. I like the fact that it's done that. Uh, but what I don't like now is that it's kind of got all these dotted lines and the text is a lot smaller than that. So I'm just going to grab one of the ends, move it up so it's roughly the same as the top one, move this one so it's roughly the same as the bottom one, two. Let me show you another way of doing it as well, is that I can actually go to letter spacing and it will put a little sort of gap in between the letters. Now, if I use my arrows to bring us down, that now is pretty much exactly where I want it to be. Cool. Now, let me show you about, um, let me show you these icons. These are actually, these little dotted lines are actually three sets of icons. Oops, let's click here. And then we've got another one here. So come on, where are you? There we go. And then we've got a set right in the middle here as well. Now, what you can do is you could select one, you could replace icon, and if you wanted to, you can actually select a different style of, oh, let me try this one. Okay, nice. Now, because it's hoops, maybe these, we could imagine that these are kind of like little basketball hoops. Now, if I use this little rotate icon here, 
the, the red dotted lines appear when it's in the right place. Okay, let me get rid of uh, this one and get rid of this one as well. Now watch what I can do here, right? And I'm going to align that with the start. Then I'm going to select it again and press duplicate. And I'm going to press duplicate again, right? So I want to get all of these onto the same kind of line. The dotted lines are helping me uh, align them in the right way. If you need, if you ever need sort of, if you're finding it difficult to line them all up, you can just use your arrows, like I said before, and bump that one up a bit, uh, bump this one up a bit. Nice. So my dotted lines are all like basketball hoops. Now what I'm doing here is I'm pressing shift down on my keyboard and selecting all three of them, all three of those little dotted lines at the same time, because I want to pull them so that they match up to the text. Great. Happy with that now. Going to leave that alone and move on to another section. Now it's actually got these little lines here that I want to get rid of. So I've got rid of those. And what you can quite clearly see here is that it's the same photograph, but there's a slightly different filter on this bottom one. Uh, and I'll show you here. You can see over filters in here. If I turn it to no filters, then suddenly it's a bit different. Actually, there is a filter on the top here. It's a grayscale filter. So what you'll see here is it's kind of the same photo, but repeated twice. Now, this one's got nothing to do with basketball. So look what I can do here. I can replace it. I can put something like uh, ooh, uh, basketball in here. And I really like this photo here. Now, I'm actually going to put it on the bottom as well. So if I replace it, go to basketball again. Okay, what I'm going to do here is now I've got two versions of the same photo. Now, if I select the top one and scale, right, I'm going to scale it to there and then I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to put this basketball in there like he's putting it in the hoop. Okay, in the O of the hoop. Nice. Now, maybe I'll just bring the scale down ever so slightly so you can still see the basketball hoop. I like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the bottom photo now, move the scale in, right? Maybe that's a bit too... I'm kind of just using the above image to help me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it until I've kind of got the same photo on both sides. There we go. That is around about right, I think. It needs a little bit of playing with, but generally that is pretty decent. Maybe I'll maybe I'll move this one. There you go. And maybe just scale it up ever so slightly. Okay, I think we're there. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Move him up ever so slightly. Cool. So I've got two, the same photo, but now I've got the, the top half is one photo, the bottom half is another photo. So now I can start playing with filters. So if I click over here, filters, and I could go to contrast, for example. You could keep shuffling it to see what you want. Or you could go to colorize. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Because we could go colorize on the top one, and then on the bottom one, we could colorize again. But press shuffle. Nice. That's looking pretty cool to me. I like that. I think it makes it look really stylish. So I'm happy with that. Actually, maybe uh, maybe I'll go in and maybe I'll darken that one. Oh, nice. So now we've got a really stylish front cover. And now we need to change these uh, text boxes here. So my first feature I've decided is going to be about Digidom Dreams. So instead of new music, I'm going to click that, double click it. Oh, come on. There we go. Put Digidom Dreams. Done. And then here's my text. We interview one of the game's hottest stars, Digidom, to see what his plans are for the future. Select that. Copy my paste in, or you can just type it out if you want to. Uh, feature number two is UK street ball. This was something when I was a kid, they used to play uh, street ball. So I'm going to select all of mine, put it in. What was my, uh, what have I decided? Enter our competition to win free tickets. That's the kind of thing you see on the front of a magazine. So I decided to put it in mine. You can do whatever you like in yours. You can do interviews, you can do competitions, you can do travel sections, you can do uh, team profiles, whatever it is that you want. So feature three, let me show you. I can go in here, I can just put how to dunk, so I can type it as well. Um, and then I'm going to select all of that text, put my version in, done. There you go. Doesn't that look cool? I think it looks great. And then also you can change the box down here. 
Uh, mine's a UK magazine, so I'm going to change it to $8.99. Ooh, $8.99. And because my magazine is so successful, we're actually on issue 99. Thank you very much. Look at that. Pretty cool. As always, if you want to download it, you just click download there and you can download it as any one of these. I'd probably suggest, I don't know, maybe a, I don't know, maybe a PNG. See what you think. Start the download. It's going to download right at the bottom of your screen. There it is. And then you can share it as well by clicking there. Click publish and then you can click a link and then you can share that link with anyone you like just by copying and then putting it into an email, whatever you like. And if you think you might struggle with the two images blended together on the magazine cover background, then all you have to do is just select one of the images, press delete, and then say delete cell. And there you go. You've got one image that you can do whatever you like with on the back. Cool. I hope you enjoyed that, Digi fans. Now, please do share your magazine covers with me using the hashtag DigiDom or by finding me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer, so I can share your work with a larger audience and give you a digital round of applause. Now, if you haven't subscribed to these videos already, why not? Seriously. Anyway, that's it for this video. And where am I going to see you next? Yeah, on the next DigiDom video. Oh,